Hello everyone and welcome back to the Helgi Karina and today we are back with yet another very interesting problem on lead code which is minimum deletions to make character frequencies unique. Now let's take a look at this problem. So according to this problem a string s is called good if there are no two characters different characters in s that have the same frequency. Given a string s return the minimum number of characters that you need to delete to make s good. Now according to this problem you have been given a string s which contains all uh, lowercase English alphabets and each of the alphabet can occur either one or more than one times, right? So uh, what you need to do in this uh, problem is that you need to delete some of the characters from this string such that no two different characters have the same frequency. So for example, in this case, uh, A and A, A occurs twice, B occurs once. So basically there are no two characters in the in this string which have the same frequency. So we print zero over here. We don't need to delete anything over here. Right now in the second case, if you see there are three A's, uh, there are three B's and there are two C's, right? So there are, since there are, uh, you know, both A and B occur three times. So we'll need to do some sort of deletions, right? So according to the explanation over here, we need to delete two B's. Uh, resulting in uh, you know good string triple a b and double c because see if you would have just deleted a single b uh, there would have been two b's but th uh, those two b's would have collided with the two c's because c also occurs twice so basically what we need to do over here is that we need to uh, you know delete two b's from over here so after deleting the two b's what we will have is we will have three a's one b and two c's so all the characters are having different frequencies. So let's try to look at this, like how we can solve this problem. So let's take an example where we have been given this big string, right? Now let's try to see how we can solve this problem. So a very intuitive step uh, as a first step would be to just to note down what are the frequencies of each of the different characters over here. So let's start. Let's say, you know, A has, you know, one, two, uh, then three, right? So there are three A's present in this, uh, in this, uh, basically string, right? Now let's move to B. So there are one, two. So we have two B's in the, in the string. C, we have one, two, three. D, we have one, two, three and four. E, we have just a single E. And F we have one, two, right? And rest of all the characters starting from, you know, till Z are all zero because they are not present in the string. So basically we can, this is how we can represent the frequencies of the different uh, English alphabets present in this string, right? Now, if we see over here that straight away, like there are th uh, three A's and also there are three C's, right? So there, there is no uniqueness in the frequencies and then similarly, there are, you know, two B's and there are two F's. So again, over here also, there is no, you know, uniqueness in the frequencies. So now what we are going to do is basically we are going to traverse across all these 26 characters one by one. And then we are going to keep on checking that whether the frequency of that character has occurred in the past or not. And if it has occurred in the past, uh, then what we are going to do is that we are going to try to delete some of the occurrences of that character one by one, right? And to uh, check whether the, you know, that particular frequency has occurred in the past or not, what we are going to maintain is basically a hash set, right? So we are going to maintain a hash set over here. Other thing that, other thing that we are going to maintain over here is basically a deletion count. Right, so deletion count, count will basically maintain that when as, as and when we are tra traversing across all these characters, we would be deleting some of the occurrences of this these characters, right? So to maintain the count of those deletions, we are going to maintain this particular variable called deletion count. So let's start traversing our uh, alphabet starting from A. So A has three, uh, you know, occurrences. Now we check our hash set, three hasn't occurred till as yet, right? So uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to put three over here that now we have uh, uh, come across three. Uh, we do not delete need to delete any occurrences of A over here. So our deletion count still remains to zero. Now what we will do is that we will move to B. Now B has occurred twice. So we are going to check our hash set. Is there any other character which has already occurred twice? No, right? So we are going to put two over here 
and our deletion count maintains to zero. Now we'll move to C. So C has occurred three times. Now we check our hash set. So three is already present in the hash set, right? So we need to do some sort of deletions in C. So what we are going to do is that first we will decrease it by one, right? And we will increase our, uh, you know, uh, deletion count by one. So now we check whether two is already present in the hash set. Yes, two is also present in the hash set. So what we are going to do it, we, we are again going to delete it, uh, uh, you know, delete one more occurrence of uh, C. So uh, the number of occurrences reduces to one, right? And our deletion count increases to two. Now we check whether one is present into the hash set or not. No, one is not present in the hash set. So what we are going to do is that we are going to add one over here, right? And uh, the deletion count is not touched anymore. So we, uh, we boil down to that only one occurrence of, uh, you know, C uh, can be there for uniqueness and we delete two occurrences. That is why we, delete, uh, we increase our deletion count by two. Now we move to D. D has total four occurrences. So we check our hash set. Is there already four existing in it? No, four doesn't exist over here. So we are going to add four to our hash set and deletion count maintains to as it is. Right. So now we move to E. E has just uh, one occurrence. We check our hash set. Now is E already is one already there in hash set? Yes, one is already there in hash set. So we will need to, you know, decrease the occurrence of E to zero and also increase our deletion count to three. Now, since uh, the, the occurrences of uh, E are reduced to zero, we cannot, uh, you know, delete it further or reduce it further. So we are going to ignore it and we are going to move to the next character. Now F, F, has, uh, F has occurred two times in the original string. Now we check whether two already exists in the hash set. Yes, two exists in the hash set. So what we are going to do is that we are going to de uh, delete one of the occurrences of F. And similarly, we are going to increase our deletion count to four. Right. Now we check whether one is present in the hash set or not. Yes, one is present in the hash set. So we are going to, you know, delete one of the occurrences of F to zero and our deletion count increases by one to five. Right. Now, since F has, uh, has been reduced to zero, that is zero occurrences of F, we cannot do anything for it. So we are going to stop over here. Now, uh, similarly, like we have traversed till F, we can move for further like this for all the, you know, characters. But for the sake of this problem, we do not have anything after F. So we are just going to ignore it for this time. Uh, now, our final answer is basically five. That is, you know, we need to do five deletions. Uh, at minimum to have all the unique characters that, that is you know have all the unique frequencies for the different characters right so let's try to reevaluate uh, how we went across this particular algorithm to solve this problem so first thing that we did was basically uh, you know first we uh, found all the frequencies of characters from a to z so basically we created this array uh, of a to z uh, where is a mapping of character to uh, the number of time it has occurred in the original string, right? So this is our first step. The next thing that we do is that maintain a hash set to keep the occurred frequencies, right? This is which is about this particular hash set. So we maintain a hash set. Then the third thing is that we iterate in the frequency array from A to Z. So we are going to iterate across this particular mapping uh, of, uh, you know, characters to frequency uh, from the order A to Z. And what we are going to do in each of the iteration is keep on reducing the frequency value till the point it is no more found in the hash set or it is reduced to zero, right? So in, in case of like, uh, you know, C, we saw that, you know, three, uh, three was already there in the hash set and two was already there in the hash set. So we reduce the frequency and increases the deletion count. And uh, in case of E and F, what we saw was, you know, since one was present, we reduced it to zero. And you know, since it is reduced to zero, there are no more occurrences. So we'll have to stop this particular iteration at this point, right? So after performing all these steps, whatever is stored in the deletion count will be our final answer. Now let's take a look at the code for the solution. Now over here, we have maintained a frequency array. This will be storing the number of times each of the element has occurred in this string S. 
right now instead of this we would have, we could have maintained a mapping of character to the frequency but just for the simplicity purpose what i have done over here i have mapped the zeroth index of of this array to the number of times a has occurred the first index of this array to number of time b has occurred and similarly the 25th index of this array to number of times z has occurred right now uh, what we do over here is that we will iterate across this entire string and you know fill this frequency array now as we discussed in our algorithm that we are going to maintain a hash set to uh, to to keep count of uh, what all frequency have already occurred and uh, we are also going to maintain how many deletions we have already done right now what we are going to do is that we are going to iterate across this entire frequency array and uh, for each of the characters we are going to you know decrease the current frequency count and increase the required deletion count till the point that particular current frequency is already present in the occupied frequencies that is uh, that frequency has already been seen in the past right so we are going to delete uh, delete those uh, occurrences of that character right and when we are going to uh, stop this particular uh, this particular loop is uh, when either you know uh, we we come across a current frequency which is not already present in our hash set or uh, we reach a point where you know current frequency has been reduced to zero right now uh, you know as we already know so if the frequency current frequency at the end of this loop was not zero then we will put it into uh, into the hash set so that you know if if in future uh, we come across that frequency again uh, you know we can call out that you know this frequency has already occurred uh, the next character shouldn't have that frequency again right so in this entire loop we have been updating this uh, required deletion so at the end of this entire for loop this will have our final answer and we are going to you know return it so that's all we have for today uh, so thank you for watching this video i have added the solution for this problem in the description given below please do subscribe the channel thanks for watching this video and please do comment in case you want any of the topics to be discussed thanks a lot bye bye